All right, welcome back guys. In a few minutes, I'm gonna share with you secret number one, but I wanted to let you know that secret number one, number two, and number three is going to revolve around the basic fundamental information that you need to know um, when starting an affiliate marketing business, okay? So if you're a beginner, this is gonna be perfect. If you already have some experience, this is also still gonna be perfect for you because I'm only gonna share with you the information that you must know about this, okay? So to start off, let me explain um, what is the affiliate marketing business model, okay? Simply put, affiliate marketing is when you partner with companies to promote their product, okay? So when you partner with a company, you automatically become an affiliate, all right? And what happens is you make a commission uh, when someone buys into your recommendation, okay? So notice that I say here, buys into your recommendation um, only because... People think it's about selling, but actually it's about recommending um, things to people, okay? So your only job is to find people with a problem that your product will solve, okay? Now, this is um, super important because every time you find a product, that product will definitely be solving a specific problem, right? Then your only job then becomes, who are these people that has this problem that your product solves? So in my case, for example, I promote Freedom Breakthrough. It's an A to Z course that teaches people how to build an online business from scratch. And the kind of people that I'm trying to find has this problem like that they want to start an online business, but they have no idea to, to, to start. So when you find, when you match this two, automatically, that's when you find the right um, lead or customer to actually sell to, okay? Because at the end of the day, people buy products that solves their problem, okay? It sounds like super basic information, but trust me when I say most affiliate will just promote it to anyone uh, blindly, okay? But I'm trying to teach you guys the most important thing that I've learned, right? In order to make high ticket sales or to sell to the right people, you first need to make sure that you're speaking to the right audiences and knowing that your product solves that user's problem, okay? It's, um, it's not something that people will usually cover in the most basic way, but it's a super important thing that you guys really, really need to understand, okay? Uh, and simply put, if you look on the left-hand side here, once you become an affiliate by partnering with companies, your only job is to find the customers, right? Once the customers actually buys into your recommendation, they buy through um, the, the, the program that you're offering, you make a commission. So affiliate marketing uh, is a very straightforward uh, business and it's this reason that we don't need um, to have experience, right? We don't need to create uh, our own product. We don't need to worry about inventory and fulfillment. We don't need to worry about customer service or we don't even need to be tech savvy, okay? Why? Because most of this is pretty much handled by the company that we decide to partner with, okay? They will do most of the heavy, lift, uh, heavy lifting. And it is this reason why I'm 100% convinced that after trying so many different business models, this was the best business model to start when you are still having your nine to five job, okay? And it's eventually gonna break you free from your nine to five, um, just like how I am slowly doing it right now, okay? So this is the number one reason why uh, affiliate marketing is the best possible business model that you, um, you will need to start, okay? Now going a little bit deeper, uh, it took me a long time to learn this, but there is two types of um, affiliate marketing, right? There is one that's called low ticket and there is another which is called high ticket, which I currently focuses on. And low ticket um, by definition fundamentally means how much commissions you're going to make. So I, I kept it as anything under $400 low ticket to me. Anything above $400 is high tickets, okay? But usually I like to aim for the uh, $1,000 and above, okay? So this is an example of me uh, doing low ticket quite some time ago. So it could be anything, right? Here there's 50 cents, there's $6, there's uh, $8 as well. Sometimes it's 21, sometimes it's 71, okay? So this is where I started with. And uh, as I shared, when I discovered high ticket, this is the kind of results I started to make, okay? These $1,122 are based on one, a single sale, okay? 
So super important, understand that there is a low ticket component and understand that there's a high ticket component. And most people, just like me when I started, we might think to ourselves, maybe you might think to yourself, well, are we have never made a single dollar online. How am I supposed to sell a thousand dollar type of program, right? That's the exact uh, same thought process I had. And that's why I started with low ticket. But uh, this is why, sorry, give me a second. This is what leads us into secret number one, right? High ticket sales requires the exact same effort as low ticket sales, okay? It took me a long time to realize this. I wish I knew this earlier, and this is the reason why I'm sharing it with, with you guys, okay? So if you look here again, I was making like, you know, tons of sales, but they were $6, $5, right? Like very, very low ticket. And when I discovered high ticket, all I needed to do was make one sale to make first my first 1000. And you can see thereafter, it's a consistent sale process. Okay. So I wrote about this post and I kind of just explained, did a quick comparison. In high ticket, it took me 30 days to make over $3,530 online. When I was doing low ticket, it took me about five to six months, 140 days, to make $674. And the biggest thing that I learned about this was, you know what? It was the exact same effort to sell this low ticket, $6, and this um, high ticket, which is over a thousand plus, right? So because of this, um, I only recommend now to my students and recommend to you guys, start off with high ticket. Forget about the low ticket, okay? So here's an example for you guys. If I was doing low ticket, and let's just say the product that I'm selling is $5, I need to make 200 sales just to make a $1,000 profit, okay? But if we talk about high ticket, all I need to do is make one a, a $1,000 sale once to be able to make a 1000 okay? And then now, I just need to do it 10 times so that I can make my first 10K online. So I hope you guys see um, how powerful this is. Um, and yeah, that's secret number one, super, super important. I wish I, I did this sooner. So that's the only thing that I recommend to you guys right now. Okay. So in the next one, we're going to talk about secret number two and how we're going to start picking a niche. So I'll catch you guys in the next one.